here, Michelle. It is day two of Vlogmas and I am back with another video. I am so excited. If you all did not check out day one of Vlogmas, make sure you do so now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video because it helps your girl out. I would greatly appreciate it. Y'all, I hope everyone is in a holiday spirit like I am. Let's just jump straight into the video. As you can tell by today's title, today we are going to be doing some tips and tricks to a luxury Christmas tree. Here is my nine foot Christmas tree that I did get from Target about three or four years ago. I believe I paid about $400 for it. Um, and she's been holding up pretty well, I must say. It is a pre-lit tree. I am at a point now where I have to replace the lights on it. So now I'm adding actual string lights because the lights that I have on here, some of them work, some of them don't. And I just love a well-lit Christmas tree. So, which brings me to number one of tips to a luxurious Christmas tree. Number one, you need a lot of lights. Get you a bunch of lights. This here is probably about, I don't know, this is like two or three boxes of lights that I had from last year. However, this year I went in again and I bought two more boxes of lights because you can never have too many lights. So, I get the twinkling lights just because I feel like it adds more oomph to the tree. So why not? So I have in total about four or five boxes of lights. Of course, that's going to depend on how big your tree is. Because my tree is nine feet tall, I plan on stuffing my tree with a bunch of lights. Number two, don't just use regular balls. Regular balls are nice. I definitely recommend you getting them. However, get you some branches and things as well. These nice little things, you can put these at the top. You can use these as tree fillers, anything that you want. But these definitely will upgrade the tree completely. Not only do I have those, I have these feathers and things. I have them in pink. I have them in gold. My tree is rose gold. It is, um, it's rose gold. It's gold in a shades of pink. And I have some white in there. Well, everything that you see me show today, I am going to be buying more of. Last year, I decided to change up the colors of my tree. Normally, my tree is like pink. It's blue. It's green. Very bright. Very colorful. So last year, when I decided that I wanted this level of my home to be pink and majority of my house to be pink, I decided to change up some things. I also had silver from my tree last year well not last year but when i was doing all the colors i had silver and these have like little specks of the different colors i was thinking that i wanted to incorporate these i don't really know how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna see if it works it may work it may not but like i said i do need to go buy some more ornaments so if i do find like some rose gold and silver ornaments or pink and silver ornaments i might be able to tie it in not really sure just yet but um Definitely tip number two, get you something other than just bulbs. Get ribbon, get things like that. I personally don't have ribbon because I have not found a ribbon that I like. But if you see a ribbon that works for you, get you some ribbon, sis. Furthermore, I have these snowflakes right here that I like to stick onto the tree. I have these icicles here. I have these other tree branches here. So many different things that you could buy. Get creative with it. It's always somewhere for something to go. Tip three and tip four. Make sure that you get you some different color bulbs. As you can see, I have gold. I have light gold. I have rose gold. I have pink. Make sure that you get you different size variations of bulbs. You see, I have this large one. I have medium sized bulbs. I have small bulbs. You want your trees to be very intricate. You want it to be something that's loud, that stands out, that has people really walking up on your tree. Like they want to see what's on there. They want to see what's in there. Tip number five, don't just get circle bulbs. If you see other ornaments, make sure you grab them. As you can see, I have this gold rocking horse. I have this Cinderella carriage. I have this chandelier here. And I also have this swan. Very cute, very different. And yeah, it just it's gonna add to the look. I have this little Bambi here. I have this dress. I have this pink snowflake. I have this pink snowflake. And I have a couple of these. I don't just have one. I have a couple of them. I have this crown. Y'all, I have feather balls. I have fur balls. I have acorns. I have these little swirly things. When I say fill your tree up, the more the merrier. I still feel like my tree is not where I want it to be. I honestly feel like I don't have enough items. I'm pretty sure if you saw Vlogmas day one, this probably should have been day one of Vlogmas. 
I'm a little backwards with it, but it's okay. It's all right. If you saw Vlogmas day one and you saw my tree, um, as you can see, my tree is not done in this video, but that's because I already started recording Vlogmas video and I might switch them around. I don't really know. I probably will not, but the more the merrier. Get you some balls, get you some statement pieces, get you a lot of different things because it's all going to tie in together. Next tip, your tree topper. I got this really pretty crown as a tree topper. I really wish it had lights on it. However, it does the job. I absolutely love it. I do this and some of the branch things that I showed you in the beginning of the video. I stick it around the top and just create a very nice, big, over the top situation at the top of my tree for a tree topper. All tree toppers do not have to be stars. All tree toppers do not have to be bows. You can make your tree topper whatever you want to make your tree topper. So that's that. I heard somebody call these by name, but I really don't know the name of them exactly. But if you see any of these sort of things and they have the clips on the back, make sure you grab some of these for your tree as well. So that way you can kind of just place it on the outside of your tree. Very nice. I like to stick them right on the ends of the branches. Just something else, like I said, to pop off of your tree. Things that I will say that I do not have to show you all, those big lollipops and those big, um, anything you see on a stick in the ornament aisle, make sure you grab some of those too. If you see any that will go with your decor, definitely grab some. Go on TikTok, go on Pinterest, look at these trees. People are not doing just regular trees anymore. Like I said, I feel like my tree does not have enough. And I really wish that I could incorporate my decorations from two years ago into what I have now because there's so many different things that I would be doing. I'm going to just show you some of the things that I have that I would use if I was able to incorporate it. Unfortunately, the rose gold does not match what I have. I really was going to try to make it work, but I have royalty Cinderella carriage going on right here. And the other stuff is like fun, candy, pops of color. Let me show you. All right, so this was my tree topper. This is a star that's iridescent. It lights up. Um, I have a snowflake downstairs in the basement as well. These were my colors. So I had this blue. One year we did, okay, so one year we did colorful, the pink, the red, the green, the blue. Then one year we just did all blue. We added blue lights. We did silver. Just kind of trying to change it up a bit. And I feel like this year I'm really still teeter-tottering back and forth on what it is that I want to do because I don't want my tree to be the same every single year. Now that my stepkids are going to be here, I really want to go more fun and playful, but then that means I would have to go buy more ornaments in which I don't really want to do. So we might just have to stick with the rose gold this year and we might just have to teeter-totter back next year because hopefully... I will have another tree by then and we could just kind of do both. But anyway, so these right here, we were sticking these in the trees. Like I said, some more of these with the clips on them. This little garland here, this is something else that I would just randomly just rape across the tree like so, just to add in, you know, something extra to it. I'm not really gonna fool with it too much, but this is also something nice. So I have green balls, I have pink balls, I have purple candy balls. I have these little fun twisty blue things. I have this, like it's just fun, playful, whimsical. I really would love to do this this year. I really would, but like I said, I would have to go buy more stuff and I don't wanna buy nothing. I wanna go buy maybe just a little bit of ribbon or something to complete my rose gold tree. And that's why I said I'm trying to really find a way that I can incorporate it but nothing about these candy pieces go with nothing that I showed you originally. So that's that. But anyways, back to tips and tricks. Look at my hair. Between the 73 and 80 degree weather, my hair just, it did not stand a chance. It was really cute at first. It's not really cute no more. But yes, these little whimsical pieces, you just stick that in there. I mean, just so cute, so fun. Especially if you have kids in the house, you know, you just want it to be over the top. Um, I like to get a lot of my decorations from at home and from Hobby Lobby. They have a plethora of items for you to get. And it seems like the moment they put it out, everything is on sale. They have reasonably priced items. 
absolutely love them. Definitely recommend you going to check them out. All right, y'all, another tip and trick. Something I've been seeing people do recently that I am not going to do on my tree, but I'm probably going to do it on my best friend's tree. Go to the Dollar Tree, get yourself some pipe cleaners, and what people are doing now is tying your bulbs together, not just hanging them single one by one, but actually taking the time to string a pipe cleaner through all of them, creating a cluster of bulbs to give it a whole different look. I absolutely love that idea. I really wish that I had some pipe cleaners to do it. I was looking for some string, anything around here in order for me to be able to do that. I really wish that I had some pipe cleaners because that is a really good idea. Another thing I've been seeing people do is wrapping their ornaments as if it was a garland. I've seen one lady, she took all her ornaments and put it on one long string and then she draped that around her tree. And that's why I've really been slow walking doing my tree this year because I want it to be different. Even though I did not post my tree last year, I myself just wanted to be a little bit different than how I would normally do it. All right, y'all, so I'll be growing like tip number seven, tip number eight by now, but definitely get you a tree skirt. The tree skirt elevate the look to your tree. It's like these light up ornament boxes that a lot of times people will put around the front of their tree just to make it look nice. Or what you can do also is if you find a wrapping paper that matches your tree, get you some empty boxes and you can actually go ahead and wrap those boxes. And you could also put those up around your tree. And that's something that I personally might do. I'm not sure just yet. I know Hobby Lobby has these reindeer that I've been looking at. I wish they were a little bit bigger because you can also put the reindeer down at the front of your tree. I know at home actually has some polar bears that are really, really cute. If you have a fireplace, if you have the means of getting a garland, make sure you go ahead and do that. I do not have a fireplace. However, I do have these little cubicles here that I'm going to put some gold statues in. But as you can see, I put my garland right here and the extra balls that I have that I do not end up putting on the tree, which I'm going to end up putting them all on the tree. But I'm going to set some aside so I could just kind of stick up here. All right, y'all. So that is about it for the tips and tricks of the tree. I'm definitely excited to go to Hobby Lobby to show you all some things. And I will be right back shortly.